Hello, everyone. Welcome to live interactive English. I'm Mike, and I'm Sam, and I'm <coughs> worried, Sam. What are you worried about? I'm worried about the state of the world.、Um, we got problems, man. Yeah, we kind of do. It, it seems like back in the beginning of 2020, when this whole COVID-19 thing、oh, came along, oh boy, this is going to be a lot of trouble, and it was.、Mm-hmm. This is going to hurt a lot of people, and, and it, it did. did. But then、yeah. you also got the feeling, well. It's a disease, you know. The scientists are great. We'll get medicines.、Mm. Diseases have a way of kind of running out, and you、yeah. know that kind of thing. And after that, all、well, things are going to get better. Yeah, we. I thought so. And just I mean, it's things, still like two years, and it's, it's still kind of going. It's been two years, and, and, and things are getting better in that yeah, way. Yeah. But then in another way, now we got a big war that started、yeah. this year, right? And we got threats from other countries to other countries, of course. The environment is still in bad shape. The,、oh、the sharks and the polar bears are still all in trouble. Oh my God! Yeah, it, feel, I mean, it feels really doom and gloom. It does feel like doom and gloom. Now,、mm. if you do feel like the world is full of doom, gloom, and possibly even the end of the world isn't too far away, well. You're not alone, and in fact, there's a group of scientists who have been watching the state of the world and how close we are to a really bad experience, to really bad events. They've been watching this stuff for many, many years. So,、mm. I guess the good thing is that well, we've been worried about this for a long time, but、mm. we're still here. Yeah. But yeah. the bad thing is that maybe that time is actually getting closer. To the bad events, maybe we're actually closer to bad things happening than we were even twenty, thirty, forty, fifty years ago. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping that this article won't be quite so doomy and gloomy. Hopefully,、no. there'll be something. Good. <laughs> True, but but sometimes when times are tough, you need to focus your mind and accept it, and then deal with it and try to fix it. So maybe having a doomsday clock and showing how close we are to the end of the world—it's scary, but it's also a way to focus our minds on what problems we have. So let's check out our article. What is the doomsday clock? Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> From Nostradamus to today's scientists, people have been making bold claims about the impending end of the world for centuries. In the tradition of these doomsayers, an American publication has created a visual representation of the threat level facing the human race. Known as the Doomsday Clock, it shows how close we are to destroying the world with our own inventions. Yes. So okay, today we are talking about something that is not necessarily the most upbeat topic, but it is an important topic, and it is one that is very real, a really real thing that we need to pay attention to. And that、mm. is this article called "What Is the Doomsday Clock?" So if we jump right in, we have from Nostradamus to today's scientists. People have been making bold claims about the impending end of the world for centuries.、Mm. So for quite a long time, people have been saying we're getting close to a disaster that is going to be the end of the world, or something that is going to be really hard to come back from. Exactly. Yeah, from ancient biblical scriptures and religious teachings to Nostradamus with his predictions of the future by reading the stars and stuff like that. Yeah, people have always been interested in the future, and there have been people who are saying we have no future because something terrible is going to happen. This has been going on for a very long time. In the tradition of these doomsayers. An American publication has created a visual representation of the threat level facing the human race. So the modern version of this doom saying may be a bit more scientific,、mm-hmm. but it's kind of the same as these doomsayers. A doomsayer would basically be like a fortune teller, but one who is really focused on the bad, terrible things. That are going to be happening in the future. They're warning you of dangers in the same way that these scientists today are using their publication to warn people of the dangers of the future. It just seems that maybe the scientists have a bit more research、yes. and a bit more science、Behind、to back、it. them up. Yeah. 
Yeah, and so we have this word publication. So publication is a noun, and it comes from the word publish or to make something public. So, for example, if you were writing a book and you were writing it in your house and you were writing it and you thought, oh, this is really great, and maybe you work on it for a year or two and you thought, wow, this is really good. I want to try to sell it. So you would go and you would try to get it published, and so it would become available to be sold or to be widely spread to everybody in the public. And so that is a pub. Publication, and we have our example sentence. Vision is a scientific publication that is read by scientists all over the world. So this、mm. is talking about a very specific publication. Maybe it's a magazine, maybe it's a newspaper, maybe it's a book. This one, I believe, is a magazine.、Mm -hmm. Magazine and it's journal. A,、yeah. Yes, and so that's a scientific publication. That's right. So the people who publish this magazine, which is read by scientists and other leaders. All around the world, they decided a good way instead of just telling people we're worried about the world、mm. and here are the problems and they're very serious because blah blah blah. Instead of doing it in a written form, instead of just publishing it in their publication, they decided to create a visual representation. Have you guys heard the expression "a picture is worth a thousand words"? You can explain something with a picture that's much harder to explain by writing about it. That's the idea because we're doing it in a visual way. Seeing stuff visual is basically having to do with looking at things、um, and using your eyes. And anything visual will give you information by just looking, not by reading, not by listening, and having someone tell you the important things、mm -hmm. just by looking at something. For example, this classic movie's visual effects. Aren't impressive by today's standards, but its story is great. When we talk about visual effects, sometimes we call them special effects. Today, they're usually made by CGI, the kind of stuff you see in the movie with your eyes that makes you go, "Wow!" It's very visual. It really has a lot to do with your eyes and getting information that way. Yeah, sometimes I watch old movies that I used to love, and、mm -hmm. seeing it now compared to the visual effects、ah. nowadays, I'm like, "Oh." It kind of ruined it, it a little bit for me. Very real. <laughs> yes, and、mm. so then we also had this word representation because we were talking about a visual representation.、Right. So this representation it comes from the word represent. So when something represents something else, it stands in that place, and when you look at it, you know that they mean. Whatever it is that they might be talking about. In this case, we've been talking about the Doomsday Clock, and so you look at it, and it is a visual representation of wow, we're getting close to some big bad event that we need to pay attention to. So it is the the thing that represents. That whole concept and that whole idea behind it, and we also have this example sentence where we have a family tree is a representation of the relationships among the family's members. So you might have a literal tree, or you might have the kind of branching little arc like this that shows everybody's parents and grandparents and blah blah blah.、Okay. That would be called a. Family tree. Yeah, like a map is a、yeah. representation of an area in the world, but we've put it smaller. We've made it into little lines, but it's basically showing you something else in a slightly different way. Yes. Okay, so we're in trouble, and we can look at this picture, and it will show us how much trouble we're in. Mm-hmm. And、okay. so it says, known as the Doomsday Clock. So、oh. that again is the visual representation of this、oh. whole idea that we might be coming up to a doomsday. Okay. So we have the doom. Doomsday clock. It shows how close we are to destroying the world with our own inventions. Oh my goodness! All、yes. right. So yeah, here we're talking about problems, danger, possibly the end of the world. Not because you know we're hit by a giant rock from space like what happened with the dinosaurs. Not because of earthquakes or volcanoes or things. Because of human inventions. We'll learn about when this started. It was back right after World War II, of course, when we had inventions that could kill huge numbers of people or possibly kill everyone on the earth. An invention is a machine, something that was created by people using creativity, using imagination, using science and engineering. And basically, before this person had this idea or built this first machine. 
this thing didn't exist. Someone had to invent it and then make the invention. And of course, many inventions that we know today went on to change the world. Here's a good example: the telephone is the invention that Alexander Graham Bell is best known for. Yeah, he invented the telephone. He had the idea for it. He built the first one, and then we had telephones. Yeah. And now we have a, a break. break. I'm, I, this is my invention. Oh, I, I like break. it. Yeah. I like no, this. Before me, no one ever took a break. Oh, yeah, how sad for it's, them. It's very amazing. Yeah, mm. you're welcome. <laughs> we'll be back after this break. My invention. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。今天的文章是关于世界末日中 Doomsday Clock. Doomsday 就是表达世界末日。那 Sam 老师提到，这不是个轻松愉快的话题，但是却很重要。老师用到 upbeat, U P B E A T, upbeat， 它是形容是轻快的，或者是乐观的，或是积极向上的。那课文写到说，从文艺复兴时期的著名预言家诺查丹马斯，到今天的科学家。几世纪以来啊，人们都在大胆宣称世界末日即将来临。那沿袭着这些末日预言家的传统，有一家美国出版物就创造一个人类面临的威胁程度的那种视觉象征，然后把它称为这个世界末日钟，用来显示说人们啊，距离用自己的发明来摧毁世界有多近，这、就是自己造成的，不是外星人入侵，好吗？好，我们来看看单字 publication。Publication 呢，它是可以当可数名词来表达出版物，也可以当不可数名词来表达出版发表的意思。那么 visual，visual visual 它是形容视觉的、视力的或是可见的。那例句提到 visual effect， 表示视觉效果。这时候 Mike 老师提到 CGI， 它则是指电脑合成影像、电脑动画图像的意思。下一个单字 representation， 它是指表现。描绘或是有代表的意思，它是当名词。那它的动词就是 represent， 是指代表、象征。再来 invention， 它可以当可数名词表达发明物，也可以当不可数名词来表达发明、创造。这时候老师提到 creativity。C R E A T I V I T Y creativity 这个名词可以指创意、创造力。好，再来呢，我们看到文中它用到 doomsayer， 是指这个灾难预言者或者是末日论者。他们就有一点像是 fortune teller 嘛。好，我们学一下 fortune 后面加上连字号，再加 T E L L E R， fortune teller 就是算命师了。好，那么老师还提到 biblical scriptures， 这是指圣经经文。那这里补充一下 ，biblical b i b l i c a l， 它是形容圣经中的或是有关圣经的。那么 scripture 就是在 script 后面加上 u r e， 构成这个名词，可以表达宗教经文的意思。接华课文中。Inspired by the idea of a countdown to nuclear Armageddon, the Doomsday Clock was designed by artist Martel Langsdorff in 1947 for a cover of the Bulletin. On the magazine's cover, the clock's minute hand is shown ticking down to midnight. Midnight represents the end of the world, or at the very least, the point of no return. The minute hand's position is decided by a group of 19 experts. Who take into consideration factors such as political developments and climate change when setting the clock? The farthest the hand has been from midnight was after the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991, when it was set to 17 minutes to midnight. The clock's current time of 100 seconds to midnight is the closest to midnight the minute hand has ever been. Can our planet still be saved? The clock is ticking. So the Doomsday Clock. That's right. It's around today. It still makes it into the newspaper quite frequently. But when and where and why did it all start? Let's find out. It says inspired by the idea of a countdown to nuclear Armageddon, the Doomsday Clock was designed by artist Martel Langsdorff in 1947. For a cover of the bulletin, remember this publication,、mm. this journal or magazine that scientists might read. Well, this artist had an idea of using a clock to show that we're counting down to zero, the way you also might imagine people counting down a bomb or a rocket launch. 
Once you hit zero, boom, lots of things are going to happen.、Mm -hmm. And in this case, the thing that could happen, because of, of course, atomic bombs, right,、yes. that were invented at the end of World War II, we could face nuclear Armageddon. Yes. Which is not a good thing. Not a good thing. A good and so, nuclear in this case is an adjective, and nuclear is a. This word is basically you're using nuclear reactions to create power. This could be a very complicated topic if you actually want to get down into the science of how you actually do it. But the big takeaway is this is a type a, of reaction that creates power, and it can be used in bombs and things like that. And those bombs. Are really bad and create a lot of destruction. And so we have our our example sentence. We have a former president once said, "A nuclear war cannot be won and must never be fought," which makes a lot of sense because again, these bombs are really destructive. And if ever this actually were to happen, there's a good chance that just Everything would get wiped out, and no one would win. Which would be nuclear Armageddon. Yes. Yes. And so then, if we continue with our reading, we have on the magazine's cover, the clock's minute hand is shown ticking down to midnight. Midnight represents the end of the world, or at the very least, the point of no return. So maybe not the total end, but now we've gone too far, and there's really no coming back. It's just a matter of time until. The end. Exactly, but of course we're not always in so much danger. Sometimes the world is peaceful. Sometimes the world has lots of trouble. So the position of the hand, or how far the hand is from that midnight, it can change over the years. It says the minute hand's position is decided by a group of 19 experts who take into consideration factors such as political developments and climate change. When setting the clock, so you know, maybe in the early 90s, right, when there wasn't such a big danger of World War III, there weren't big dangers to the environment. Things were safer. The hand was further from midnight. But when we're in times like today, when there's lots of trouble in the world. We're getting closer to midnight. Yes, and that is actually exactly right. That is the time that it was、oh, yeah. the farthest away. And as we see here, it says, <laughs> "The farthest the hand has been from midnight was、mm -hmm. after the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991,、okay. when it was set to 17 minutes to midnight. <laughs> More than a quarter of an hour.、Mm, yes, that's a long way from midnight. So obviously, that would show people looking at it. Wow, we're this far from midnight. That is very safe. That's a long time from midnight. But what about now? The clock's current time of 100 seconds to midnight is the closest to midnight the minute hand has ever been. Even going back to the Cold War, when World War III could have broken up, we're now that's a minute and 40 seconds. Yeah. The best、Under、time minutes, was 17 minutes. Now we're less than two minutes、mm -hmm. away from midnight. So here's the big question: Can our planet still be saved? The clock is ticking.、Mm. Mm. So basically, can we avoid reaching midnight? Can we keep the world safe? Can we avoid nuclear war and all of these other terrible things? We're close, but we have to stop that hand from ticking, or at least move the hand further away. So,、yes. what do you guys think? How worried are you about the end of the world?、Mm. I'm. I think I'm like. I want to say that I'm somewhat worried. I hope,、mm. but I feel like I'm more and more getting very worried about it,、mm. just because things are a little bit, mostly on the political side, things are really kind of unstable now. But、yeah. on the climate <clears throat> side, that's something、mm. like since I was a kid, I keep hearing about, and I still feel it's not really going quite in the direction it needs to be to kind of get. Settled, so、yeah. I think it, it's something I stress about. Yeah, it's something I think about quite often. Actually, you kind of you kind of hope it won't happen because people will eventually do the right thing,、mm. right? Stop the war, fix the climate. But how much will we have to lose? How、yes. many people will be hurt before we are smart enough to stop that hand moving any closer to midnight? Well. It's going to be up to you guys in the future to help us out, lead the world off in a better direction, push that hand further away from midnight. Because we don't want to die. We want to see you guys again, and we will see you guys again, hopefully very, very soon. Until then, be well, peace, take care of each other and the world we live in, and we'll see ya. Bye.
。世界末日中是由艺术家马朵朗斯多夫在一九四七年为公报设计的封面，它是受到核武世界末日倒数计时的想法所启发的。那杂志封面上呢，时钟的纷争滴答响着走向午夜，这个午夜就代表了世界末日。而纷争的位置呢，是由十九名专家组成的小组来决定的。他们在播这个纷争的时候呢，就会考虑到政治发展、还有气候变迁等等的因素。好，那纷争距离午夜这个十二点最远，其实是在一九九一年苏联解体之后，当时啊被播到离午夜十七分钟的位置。目前则是纷争有史以来最接近午夜的时候，距离午夜是一百秒。同学们看到疫情大流行啊，世界各地动荡不安，还有全球暖化等等带来各种问题，大家会很担心世界末日来临吗？好，课文用到 the clock is ticking， 字面意思是时钟正在滴答作响着，也就是说时间不等人，时间紧迫的意思。这个 tick 就可以表达钟表发出滴答声的那个动作。好，那我们来看课文单字 nuclear， 它是形容词，形容核能的、核武器的。那么还有提到这个 Armageddon， Armageddon 这个名词表示毁灭性的大规模战争或是灾难。那这边两个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，我们来看一个重点是关系代名词 who 可以引导关系子句去修饰或是补充说明前方的先行词。那先行词必须是人。当这个先行词啊，它是明确特定的对象时。关系子句必须用逗号跟主要子句隔开，用来补充说明独一无二的先行词。那这叫做非限定用法。例如 ，Their uncle, who is a good cook and has a good sense of humor, lives next door. 他们的叔叔住在隔壁，他很会煮菜又很有幽默感。那后面这边他很会煮菜又很有幽默感，就是我们这个中间插入了这个关系子句，用来补充说明他们的叔叔哦。再看下一个重点是 take something into consideration， 表示说将某事列入考虑、纳入考量。其中的名词 consideration 表示考虑、考量。例如 ，You should always take the weather into consideration when planning a hike. 你在规划登山健行的时候，应该总是把天气纳入考量。好，那么以上这些讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。From Nostradamus to today's scientists, people have been making bold claims about the impending end of the world for centuries. In the tradition of these doomsayers, an American publication has created a visual representation of the threat level facing the human race. Known as the Doomsday Clock, it shows how close we are to destroying the world with our own inventions. Inspired by the idea of a countdown to nuclear Armageddon. The Doomsday Clock was designed by artist Martel Langsdorff in 1947 for a cover of the Bulletin. On the magazine's cover, the clock's minute hand is shown ticking down to midnight. Midnight represents the end of the world, or at the very least, the point of no return. The minute hand's position is decided by a group of 19 experts. Who take into consideration factors such as political developments and climate change when setting the clock? The farthest the hand has been from midnight was after the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991, when it was set to 17 minutes to midnight. The clock's current time of 100 seconds to midnight is the closest to midnight the minute hand has ever been. Can our planet still be saved? The clock is ticking. The bear of the automobile changed society. Invention. That's right. Yes. Next one's an adjective. They use the latest bear effects in filmmaking. 
Our designs have a strong bear appeal. Visual. Yes. yes. Okay, next one. Again, a noun. Okay. She works for a weekly educational bear. The book is scheduled for bear next month. Release. Wait, she works for a weekly educational bear? Yes. That what's, is, what's the next one? The book is scheduled for bear next month. The book is scheduled for review, for release. She works for a weekly educational, yeah. educational, it's a noun? It is a noun. Educational company? Educational, read the sentence. So, so she works for a weekly educational bear. The book is scheduled for bear next month. Next, yeah. It was, okay, so it's publication. Uh, so she yeah. works for a weekly educational publication, and the book is scheduled for publication uh, next month. Scheduled for publication? I don't know. I don't know it's that been debatable. <laughs> okay. okay, you ready? Yeah, uh, let's ready put a minute on the clock and go. Okay, first is a noun, it's one word. The bear to the World Cup has begun. Everyone stood by for the bear. Wait, so the bear for the... The bear to the World Cup has begun. It's a noun. Everyone stood by for the bear. Oh, the uh, build-up? No. Yes. Yes. Similarly. Run-up? Um, the... I don't know. Next one. Okay, next one. It's also a noun. It's one word. No taxation without bear. Okay. This painting is a bear of how I feel. Representation. Yes, you got it. Okay. <laughs> Adjective, one word. They shut down the bear reactor for safety reasons. The activist group is very critical of bear energy. Nuclear. Yes. Okay, okay. first one is noun, one word. The bear to the World Cup has begun. Everyone stood by for the bear. Stood by for the bear. Um, I'd focus on sentence one. It's a bit better. Yeah. The, the bear to the World Cup has begun. Oh. Okay, countdown. Countdown. The okay. countdown to the oh, World Cup has begun. Everyone stood by for the countdown. I see. I don't know, that's that concern. If, they, if it had said on New Year's, then, then yeah. it would be easy, I guess. Yeah, but, yeah, New Year's would have been easier. But just stood by, but yeah. See you next time.